All right, guys, thank you guys for clicking this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to install a farm gate. Let's just go over quick and easy what you're gonna want. You're gonna need some kind of two wooden post. Uh, we chose really big, thick post. We have a Great Pyrenees, if you guys haven't seen one. They are 100 plus pound dogs, and he has a lot of energy. So I wanted to make something that was gonna be into the ground, nice and sturdy, that was not gonna get as loose. So we got pretty good thick posts for our wood. And we also elected to go with the square, which I prefer over the circle. I just think it looks better, but that's all on you guys. You may see chickens or hear chickens throughout this video. They like following me. The next thing that you're gonna need is the gate itself. We have a six foot one. It's long for the area that we're gonna need, so that works out perfect. Behind that gate, right where my finger's pointing right here, there is gravel, which I'm gonna put at the bottom of our holes that we dig, and that's gonna help prevent against any kind of rotting. This is something I'm not sure that if you're gonna to want to use or not. A lot of people like just using cement. This is called Sick of Post Fix. So a lot of people just use cement. I'm gonna try this out. It looks like it sets quicker, which I prefer. I'd like to get it done faster, so. This will be a test trial as well today, and if it goes well, then you guys know to use it. So we'll try it out. We'll see how this one works. So the first thing you gotta do is dig your holes. So let's get that started. Alright, I have the holes now all dug out and I have it dug about almost three feet because I'm going to put about six inches of that gravel in the rocks, then put the post in, then it'll be about two and a half feet. The post will probably be about five feet tall, so I have it about half of what's underneath the ground for how big it's going to be outside the ground. Like I just showed you, the holes are done, so the next thing is put about, like I said, I'm going to put about six inches estimating, I'm not going to measure it, but six inches of the gravel in each hole. Then we'll put the post in and we'll start sticking them in the holes. Holes done, gravel's at the bottom. Now we're gonna try this stuff and hopefully it works good. And like I said, we have over a 100 plus pound Great Pyrenees dog that would easily be able to take out a fence. Good thing is, is he doesn't really ever try to put all of his weight down on a fence, but even if he uses half of his weight, that's a lot of weight, so. Looks like all I have to do is massage this for about 15 seconds, pretty regulars, regulars, regularly. I don't know how to say it. You're gonna put it, you're gonna do a really good mixing of it inside the bag, and after that, you rip it open immediately, pour it in, and it says about three to five minutes to set. If you have somebody with you, that's where you can allow them to hold it while you go do the other one. I do not, so I'm gonna pour it in there and then hold it myself, time it out. I'll probably hold it for longer than five minutes just to be sure. There's a little bit of wind today, not too much though, so I'm not too worried about that. But I do wanna make sure that this thing is not going anywhere, so let's give this a try. Hopefully it works good. So right now what I'm doing is just holding it in place and waiting for it to harden. Maybe bring a book with you or listen to some music so that you can kill the five minutes a little easier than what I'm doing right now. I unfortunately had to use both bags for it to kind of fill the area that I needed it to. Luckily we have some concrete bags so I'm going to do one with concrete, one with this. And you guys will get to see both ways now. So. But that way was really easy, so I would suggest using this as long as it's gonna stick it good. So that foam stuff, either I did it wrong or something happened where they're not working, so switch it to the concrete, and we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way, put the concrete in there and get these posts set. So I have the concrete now sitting and trying to harden. That's gonna be about 30 minutes. So this is where you'd rather have something to kind of hold them up, which is probably what I'll end up doing, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys here real quick. All you gotta do is dump that dry mix of concrete in there, pour some water on it, and then just let it sit. The post and the cement is now hardened, and it is ready to go, almost. So what I'm gonna do now is 
The rest of that hole that is down there, I'm gonna fill it with dirt so that's all filled to the top. So it's level with the ground. Can't put any kind of major weight on it for about six hours. And since it's about four o'clock right now, that won't be doing the rest of it today, that means. So tomorrow we'll get back and we'll start hooking up that gate. All right, so we're back and I'm here now to finish putting up the gate. These posts are good and solid now. And now the next part is drilling in the next pieces to the post so that we can open this gate up and let's get ready to do that. Huh. This has been a big day for us because this white lattice has been wanting to break all the time with Mr. Milo running around and it's good to finally get this done. As you can see, I did cut our posts. They used to be, they were like eight feet tall and so after putting about two and a half feet, three feet into the ground, I cut a good amount off of it because we wanted to line up with our fence a little more and our other fencing that's gonna go across on each side, which I'll also install while I'm here. So you'll see that. one here facing up. I have one at the bottom, both facing up. Um, I think there's different ways to do this. This is how I'm gonna go about it and I'll show you why I did it that way. Now I'll attach the gate. So this is, I have it resting here, resting here, and that's how that'll always be. I'm not gonna ever open that side. And this is usually what comes with your gates. You'll have those two pieces and then they'll give you some kind of chain like this. And the chain comes with one of these locks that you can just open it up like that. And now what I'll do is I'm able to just open it up like this. And all you gotta do to lock it is just lock it up like this. And there you have it. Um, that's all it takes to install one of these things. Like I said, my way might be a little different than what other people did, but these are the pieces that come with a gate usually when you buy one. You get those two long screw pieces for the post. I don't have a certain term for them. You can obviously see I don't do this a lot. With those and you get a chain lock on the one side. And I think the easiest way that I found to do this gate is to do it this way where they're gonna both gonna be rotating on those two screw ones and you just unlock it with the chain one when you're ready to open it and close it. Um, it's not a 100% perfect amazing thing. The thing that I would like to do for a mine is to probably put a piece of wood that goes across the top of my wood post to kind of give it a finished wooden look. I'm happy with how this looks and we are happy to not have the white lattice here anymore and able to access the front yard and the backyard together and not having to go through the house each time. Thank you guys again for following along and I hope that this helps somebody out there. Um, I didn't really find a very good video. I feel like they just explained it this easy, I think. I think that if I just found a video that was like this, I could have been like, oh, well, I'll just go out there and run out and grab it real quick and do it. This is what I ended up making and figuring out, so I hope this helps somebody out there. Make sure that you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. See you in the next vlog.